In this video, we are going to learn about the various features in the Calculator tool that is included with Windows. To open the Calculator tool in Windows 7, click the Start button, hover over All Programs, click the Accessories folder, and finally click Calculator. In Windows 8.1, right click the Windows icon and then click Run. When the Run window appears, Type Calc on the bar and click OK. The calculator tool will open. At first glance, a very simple looking calculator appears. Clicking View reveals several options. By default, the calculator is set to Standard Mode. The other modes available are Scientific, Programmer, and Statistics. Note that when you switch modes, any calculations not stored in history or memory are erased. The next area under View shows the options History and Digit Grouping. History will keep a record of each previous calculation. History is only available in Standard and Scientific modes, and each mode has its own history. Digit grouping will place separators after each group of three numbers. In this example, the digit groups are separated by a comma, but this may be different depending on your locale. The calculator tool runs in basic mode by default, but can do much more than add numbers. Click Unit Conversion to make various conversions. For example, let's say we want to convert 23.6 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. To do this, change the top line by clicking the drop down arrow and selecting Temperature. Under From, enter the value 23.6. Under To, click the drop down arrow and select Degrees Fahrenheit. We now see that 23.6 degrees Celsius converts to 74.48 degrees Fahrenheit. The calculator tool can also make date calculations. The options are to calculate the difference between two dates and add or subtract days to a specified date. There are also four different worksheets available. Mortgage, Vehicle Lease, Fuel Economy in Miles per Gallon, and Fuel Economy in Liters per 100 Kilometers. In this example, we will pick the mortgage calculation. Enter the required information and click Calculate to get the result. We'll enter the purchase price and other details. When finished, click Calculate and we can see the monthly payment based on these figures. In this video, we reviewed the various features in the calculator tool that is included with Windows. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.